In this video, I'll show you how you can use the Dynamic Select tool in Ultrix. I think the Dynamic Select tool is underutilized. I don't really see a lot of people using it, but there's some really good use cases for um, including this uh, tool into your workflow. So let me show you what I mean with the Dynamic Select tool. So if I bring in some data, I'm going to connect to Tableau's Sample Superstore, and I'm going to run this. So Everyone's kind of used to the normal uh, select tool, which um, sits within preparation. And in here you can deselect fields. So you can say, for example, we want to include um, row ID order. We don't want to include these fields, sorry. Um, and then you can run the workflow again. Um, so that's nothing new here. But what I want to introduce you to is the dynamic select tool. The dynamic select tool sits within the developer category. So if I go to the developer category, you can see we have a couple of dynamic tools here. And the one I want to focus on is the dynamic select. It's here. Here you can select or deselect fields um, based on uh, the field type or uh, an expression. Um, so you have actually two options. So if I bring in this tool and show you the options you have. So you can first of all select particular field types. So let me first delete the old select one. Yeah, let's use this one. So you can either select field types or you can use a select via formula. Um, so let's first focus on the select field type. And what this means is that if you have in your data set, and this is for example an Excel file, so it has those um, field types included. So if we only want, for example, all the fields that um, are string fields, so we can click on string and it deselects everything else. If I now run the workflow again, it will now only give me the fields in this data set that are strings. That's pretty powerful because we can also, for example, say give it all the numeric and then it will, um, of course, list out all the numeric fields we have in our data set. Um, it's really important that your data set actually contains all these data types. So if you bring in a CSV file, a CSV file will, um, by default, be uh, strings. So you first need to make sure that you have the field types. Um, but let's also look at the second option you have, which is select via formula. So if we click on that one, and then here what we could do is, uh, for example, um, say you want a field, and, and in this data set it's, um, it's called segment. So we want a field called segment. So point, uh, click on name, and then we say name is um, equal to segment. What this will do is, if I run the workflow, it will uh, find the column called segment and list out all of the um, rows or records that are in that um, column. Keep in mind this is not a summarized tool. Um, it will list out all of your records in the data set. This is pretty powerful because you can say we want a name, a segment. And keep in mind that the normal select tool, which I showed in the beginning, um, is very fixed. It's static. So if your data updates and your column segment shifts around, this is being impacted as well. So if I, um, for example, do for example, we want the name a segment, and we also always want to return uh, the second column in this data set. So I'm going to say, um, oh, sorry, and I want to or, and if we use a drop down on fields, you can say we we have also options. So is numeric, which means it will return all the numeric fields again is string, all the strings, but we can also say, for example, field number. And if we say, if that's equal to two, then we'll also give that. So if I return this, this is a bit more flexible because now you can see all the order IDs in this data set and in which segment they fell. Um, this means that it's, um, it's not fixed like the normal select tool. And you can customize this as much as you want. So you can look for names or types, so actual sizes of uh, columns as well. Or the source, if your data set has, um, a, um, it's related to source. So hopefully this uh, video is interesting and I'll catch you in the next one.